Today I'm going to show you how to use pearl embossing paste from Dreamweaver. And I'm going to use a Dreamweaver stencil, the scalloped shell. And it is very charming. So the first thing I did was I measure the stencil so that I can get an accurate size of paper to emboss with the embossing paste on the paper. So this stencil is two and a quarter inches by two and a quarter inches. So I cut my paper two and a half inches by two and a half inches so that I have area that I can tape the stencil down when using the paste. So let's get started. So I center the stencil on the two and a half by two and a half square and I'm using low tack tape and the very first piece I put on is the top piece because that will act like an, as a hinge when we go to remove the stencil. So the top first, then the bottom, and then each side. careful not to cover the design, but you want to completely cover the edges of the paper that the stencil's on. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to get a generous amount of pearl paste and I'm going to spread it on the stencil and then carefully hold your embossing knife at a 45 degree angle and you can scrape off the excess paste and then recycle back into the jar. And I may need to do this again and recycle back into the jar. And now that I'm finished, I immediately put the embossing paste knife in a small tub of water. You do not want it to dry on there because it will be extremely difficult to remove. And then put the cap back on the paste. And I set the tub of water on a paper towel so that I can also put my pieces of tape on there to keep my area nice and neat. So I'm going to slowly remove each side. And stick it on the paper towel. Then remove carefully remove the bottom. And then I hold the paper with my fingertip and then with my thumb I will gently lift the stencil. And I still have the piece of tape that was acting as my hinge, which I can pull that off and immediately put your stencil in a small tub of water. And now we will let this dry for about an hour so that we can complete our card. And while I'm waiting, I can assemble the other parts of my card. So what I've done was I've taken a piece of navy cardstock and I cut it in half. This was eight and a half by eleven, cut in half. So the final piece is five and a half inches by eight and a half inches, and then I score it long ways at four and a quarter inches. And I always like to have uh, when I use dark cardstock, I usually will line the inside of the card so that I can write a note or stamp a message. So just inside, um, the color combination I'm using on this is pearl, navy, white, and silver. So I'm going to use a white piece of cardstock which is just smaller than the inside of this card. And the size of this card is 5 and 3 eighths inches by 4 and 1 eighth inches. So I'm going to attach that now. And then I can use my scored line as a guide to set this just inside the card. And 
and you can see how nice it'll be when the card is complete. So now that my pearl shell is dry, I'm going to assemble the rest of the pieces of my card. So I decided that I wanted to do a lot of layers on the front. So I cut another piece of white cardstock to four and one eighth by five and three eighths, and then I ran it through the small dots cuddlebug embossing folder so that I could have texture. And I'm going to attach that piece first. And I'll use the edge of my card to line it up. And make sure I have equal amount of card on left, right, top, and bottom. And then what I did, the original shell stencil was two and a quarter inch by two and a quarter inch and then I cut the navy card stock at two and a half inches by two and a half inches and then the next layer I went up another quarter inch so this is two and three quarter inch by two and three quarter inch and then I went up one more quarter inch to make this dark card stock three by three. I like layers I think the more layers the better in trying to make all the colors match one another. I like matching combinations just like when you're getting dressed. You want colors to match. So white and navy go great together. Silver, navy, and white go great together. So now I'll start stacking and layering these pieces. And I'm making sure that I have equal amounts of white on left, right, and the top. I'm actually going to center the scalloped shell towards the top of the card. Next I'll put the silver, metallic silver, mirror paper. And same thing. I want to make sure I have equal parts of dark navy cardstock left right top and bottom and with the mirror stock if you get your fingerprints on it you can just take a tissue to wipe it out to wipe them off when you're finished next I'll add the little scallop shell And I'll center that piece with equal parts of mirror cardstock, left, right, top and bottom. And you can see how beautiful it is when you stack several pieces. And when you use the pearl embossing paste, if it seems like your paper is a little warped, just give it time uh, overnight because it will completely flatten out when it's dry. Next I'm going to tie a bow and I have some very thin metallic silver cording and it's about two feet long. And then you can slide the bow up if you want it higher up on the card. And then trim the excess cording. I leave it about, I don't know, three inches long. And the inside of the card has the white for your message or your note. And now I'm just going to fold it and this card will be complete. Now I'll use the bone folder just on the very edge. And there you have it. 
Thanks for watching.